safety hood as well as the safety bandana because magical droplets of ice and metallic melting systems are um I, I think that's rain it does that like every week or so or less this is a rare phenomenon and so uh, you see it's making this oh oh that is just disgusting Yeah, camera, cameraman. Cameraman, you need to treat this immediately. Do you think it's poisonous? Yes, definitely. Then you saved my life. Alright. So, what you do, if you if you come across one of these rare phenomenons, that's what you do is ball up your kerchief. And in order to use it to protect yourself. Among this phenomenon is you do one of two things. Either you stuff it in your mouth, oh. or you will put it over your arm so it won't get wet. Now, if anything should happen to your bandana, you are 100% doomed for your life in this phenomenon. You see, I take great care of my bandana. And I will let nothing, not one thing, happen to my bandana. Nothing. Cameron, where's my bandana? It's right there. Way to perform safety maneuvers. Look out. I took fishing in survivor school. No, 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 put it back down. No, that's poisonous. Put it down. I took, I took fishing. I took fishing. You never quite elaborated on. Fishy! Fishy, fishy, come here, come here, fishy. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to be playing with fishy. long, pointy objects. Dude. Doctor said so. Dude. I don't think. Let's just get on with the think show. I don't on Earth anymore. I think I'm, I'm somewhere else. Dude, dude, could I be dead? Probably. Camera man, am I dead? Uh, no, they're not. I think I am. By Jove, I've got. Who's Jove? <laughs> come, come. Now this, this is your only food in this kind of condition. And how you eat it is you're supposed to traditionally put it up your nose. I'm gonna take another one. Uh, all right, all right, camera. Let's go. Let's go over here. And I hope. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that that kind of ruins your food. But there's a solution. You light a fire using this mysterious twine of snakes. So. That's what you do, and you leave it over there, and soon it will get glowing flames, just about now. It is a boring fire, as you can see. You know how I know? It's because the, the Whoopi Goldberg is right here. There's someone right, right there talking to you, right now. Yeah, it's just like Whoopi Goldberg talks to everybody. No. So, you see, Whoopi Goldberg just tells me everything. Whoopi there. Goldberg's a girl. No, no, you know, everyone has floating Whoopi Goldberg, who's clearly a boy who floats right here. It's not a boy, it's a girl. And I'm pretty sure no one's supposed to have voices talking to them either. Especially Whoopi Goldberg. It's a nasty fella. Anyway, 
This is the wild beast. Looks like a bush. Bush. Dude, a bush? This looks nothing like George W. Man. This is wild creature. Wild bush. Wild wild creature. Bush. Creature. It's a bush. It's called the wheat monster. And cause you know why? It looks just like a loaf of bread. No, it looks like wheat. But no, but it's that doesn't wheat. make any sense. If it looked like wheat, why would they call it the wheat beast? Because it's wheat. It's bread. How many oh, times do I have to right, explain? Alright, alright, it's bread. How many times do I have to explain these things to you? Camera. Hey, I heard on the the wheat beasts that if you jump in them, you get a prize. Prize? Prize, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna trust you, cameraman. Alright. Oh, there's your prize. I saw dead people. And they saw you, so you better run. And there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. We couldn't really find an ending to this. So, this is how we wrote it. Ah, never mind. Here comes. It's very slippery. And that brown. And that brown. It's called the fondue. The fondue. I read it in my research books. You mean cookbooks? No. No. Clearly on the front. What are you doing said, in your pocket? I was looking for my bandana. Where, where'd your bandana go? Yeah, you see, it's nowhere to be found. All right, what about yeah, okay. that bandana? <laughs> it's not a bandana. It's a bandana. That's, that's a loaf of bread. All right, go You're eat missing it. Things that I dare like you to eat that loaf of bread. Later. So yes, no, I read in my research books. They said wild ways to spice up. And obviously, if I ask the world wildness, I have to do my job. Dude, that's a swing set. What are you doing? We swing! Cameraman, what are you doing? No hand! Cameraman, that is a very dangerous animal beast. There are so many around here. Oh, I love riding animal beasts. Cameraman, I bid you goodbye. Because that will be a lot. Oh my god, it ate him! It ate the cameraman. It ate the cameraman. I'd have to continue the show all by my own. All by my own. You see, now, what I will do is I will, I, will, I will continue the show. And so, like I said, um, you will eat. Captain! <laughs> oh my god, Captain! The cameraman, I saw, I saw those bullets that you fired at me. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg, you killed him. You killed Whoopi Goldberg. It's a her. Oh. So, since I found all this food but no water, the only solution is to use these droplets that are falling from the ground. They're falling from the ground. Falling from the sky up there. That's, that's the ground. No, that's the ground. All around here is the ground. Shut up. Okay, now what we're going to do is I researched what turkeys do. And what they do, uh, what they do is they look at the sky and take a drink. If you fall asleep, you'd probably choke on all that rain. Shut up. It's not rain, it's the droplets. Alright. Oh, yeah, he's choking. Mm, those research papers are probably still only cookbooks. And yet, I bet Whoopi Goldberg, she probably told, well, he in his case, probably told him to read those papers to help him survive in the wild. That's why you never listen to Whoopi Goldberg.